Oh my god, this is actually happening! We take it over! Uh, oh my god, <laughs> welcome to the uh, blackest podcast on the internet. Uh, my name is Jacob Plick, King of Hugs, Lord of Duval, um, man with many titles. Um, to my left and to your right is... Lewis Stewart, how are y'all doing tonight? <laughs> And the other way is, because I don't feel like saying it. Ari slash Jacob's younger sister slash BB Chan for everyone who follows me on Twitch. Oh, snap. Fucking plugs. Right. So, you might be wondering, where the hell did Josh go? Well, earlier today, I cast Plane Shift and threw him into the elemental plane of water. And shortly before drowning, the Kraken that lives in the elemental plane of water swallowed him whole. Fun fact, he rolled... Uh, a positively uh, great death saving throw, but it doesn't fucking matter because the Kraken. And I'm serious because look, there's a dice right there. This is a video game podcast. Hey, gaming, Get your gaming, D &D baby. Out of here. Hey, I can do whatever I want. Remember, it's Black Panther Month too, baby. February hey! is almost here too. Black History Month. Let's go. Let's go. I do love the background as well. Yeah, oh, and Brandon uh, Bailey says hello. She's a fantastic person. So, um. How is everybody doing, by the way? You guys doing okay? Good. I'm on cold meds. Yeah? I don't sound horrible. <laughs> I am looking really short, and That's I think you're pointing it out. He is. I was I'm really too. short. Dude, I'm 5'8". Five, five, yeah, how tall are you, Lewis? Like 6'1". Yeah? 5'9". But, like, well, see, here's, the crazy thing is I'm the comfy chair, so, I mean, I could kind of put it up but i'm like figuring that out and didn't give the lady that's not, the comfy chair yeah yeah the just lady fuck it she just, would sit at this chair if yeah. i wanted the comfy chair it would be mine that's <laughs> bullshit that's not true at all that's absolutely not true if i, I would wanted be, the comfy chair it would have been mine stop stop lying anyway so uh why don't we go ahead and get into oh and i'm really excited to do this <laughs> Okay, cool. Now I'm tired. <laughs> you already knew I wasn't. All right, yeah, I did. And uh, the news is brought to you by Prominent Tonic. Fun fact, the standby screen is a picture of me getting a haircut. So some fun behind the scenes. Why are you putting it in the background? All right, anyway, it doesn't matter. This is about to get crazy. So uh, first things first. Uh, last year, Alexis Kennedy confirmed that Bioware was working on a new Dragon Age game. And recently, Casey Hudson had shed, uh, has shed some more light on the project. According to Hudson, the new game will feature a, quote, live experience, which means, quote, designing a game for continued storytelling after the main story. Speaking on Twitter, Casey said, quote, I'm going to say quote a lot, reading lots of feedback regarding Dragon Age, and I think you'll be relieved to see what the team is working on, story and character focused. Too early to talk details, but when we talk about life, it just means designing a game for continued storytelling after the main story. Executive producer Mark Dura, if that's how you pronounce your last name, if not, go fuck yourself, uh, reminded everyone on Twitter that the developer is focusing on both Anthem and the Dragon Age series, saying that, quote, there are people hard at work on both franchises. So, um... I feel like we've been waiting really, 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 really long time for a Dragon Age sequel. And I know we were talking... Uh, it was three years ago. Yeah, so a really long time as far that as video games. That ain't long. I mean, it feels long. I mean, so we've been waiting... games you, like, get recent quick sequels. You don't sit in that That's not true. struggle. I don't know. He waited what? for Persona 5. I waited for, what are you talking about? <laughs> I waited for Persona 5 forever. You had 18 different Mother. versions of Persona 4 to hold you over. That's very true. They had a dancing but I didn't, game. But I didn't want. And you had Persona, Persona 5 having a dancing game too. Boogie Nights. Well, yeah, but I didn't play it. hold you over. I was not. That was I'm your not, choice. I, yeah, it is. And I made it. And I made that choice. I mean, shit. As a matter of fact, I failed to wait. I, I watched someone beat Persona 5 in Japanese via Twitch live stream. So I didn't really wait anyway. Exactly. You've never been patient. <sighs> I'm not a patient person. No, so I was talking, um, we were talking earlier, and uh, we were talking about um, the uh, about Anthem and uh, the delay and how they, uh, or how it was rumored to be delayed. Mm -hmm. And then uh, apparently there's been um, a press release stating that, no, they're, it's not being delayed. They're, so they doubled down on it. So, which I find really fascinating because... I think they were better off not saying anything at all because if it ends up getting delayed, everyone's going to laugh at them and they look Did like it shit. Did even have a like a 2018 release date? Um, yeah, I believe so. Oh, okay, yeah, I wasn't sure. I'll double check though, because I want to say because I was actually supposed to have this up already. But um, where'd you go, Chrome? Riveting content, I know. Um, yeah, so 
reading from the Kotaku article, it's not unusual for Bioware to pull staff from other projects as it enters the final year of production on a game. In recent years, Bioware has done the same for both Mass Effect and Andromeda and Dragon Age Inquisition. Stop sneezing. Fuck <laughs> But Anthem, the studio's first new franchise in eight years and EA's first big stab at a Destiny-style Destiny style persistent online world feels different. To Bioware staff, the stakes feel higher than they are they ever have. Mm-hmm. As one developer told me, there's a belief that if Anthem doesn't live up to EA's expectations, Bioware will look very different in the future, especially after the disappointment of Mass Effect Andromeda led to EA absorbing Bioware in Montreal into the studio EA Motive. And the article continues. This is a good article. Jason Schreier is a really awesome writer. He's a, he's a hell of a person to follow on the internet, so you, you should do that. But... Um, and just, I was I was just thinking um, on the way over here um, as we considered uh, going to a show club instead of coming over and doing this podcast. That was a conversation we had. That's a real life. And uh, that was such fun. I mean, it was your idea to put it to put it bluntly. It was. It was. That's true. Was it but, such fun? Yeah, exactly. It was a good idea. We should have done it. <laughs> no. Um. Anything else to add on that? Like, I'm how do you not. Feel? After Andromeda, and I'll be the first. And this is something we had a conversation about. I was not a fan of Inquisition. I've loved She's Dragon wrong. Age for years. I was not a fan. That's my opinion. And yet, bitch. there's so many fans <laughs> so, of that game. Yep. With another game coming out, I'm not sure if I really want to buy another Bioware game. Like, honestly, I feel like I had my fill and I'm good. Mm-hmm. I'm not really expecting something amazing after what they've given me before, but I am willing to see what it comes out with. It's just not going to be on my I must have list. I gotcha. Well, well is it. <laughs> I bet that's Josh. If you live stream for the Shook Club, I would have been fine with that. I mean. That's fair. <laughs> We can try and make Dude, things we happen. Full conversation Touché. About it. Touché. Um, next week, all the cheeks. <laughs> I'm not going to be on next week's show, so it's going to be one of their cheeks, just so you guys are clear. <laughs> and suddenly, no one is interested. <laughs> but I, 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 I think that's interesting because I, I know that up before, like before Mass Effect drama, that people were buying games specifically because it was Bioware, mm-hmm. you know, Kotor, and, um, and as I'm looking at an original Xbox. Jade Empire was a fucking badass game. If you think I'm wrong, fight me. Um, And it's it's a shame. And the first Mass Effect trilogy. Exactly. So we have what's that about three, four, six games against three. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I'm only giving you two. Dragon (laughs) Position did really well. It did. People like sold really well too. Reviewed well both. Yeah. With regular people and critics. Yeah. So I'll give you two. Dragon Age. Two was trash, and Andromeda was bad. Yeah, like I looked at my copy of Mass Effect Andromeda the other day, like yesterday, like maybe I'll pop it in, and I was just had a really like, <sighs> no, no, nope, just didn't do it. Just not my cup of tea. Fight me. I mean, what? Oh, Inquisition. Yeah, it's okay. And I mean, you're still wrong. I have my own reasons for why I didn't like Inquisition, which is fine. Do tell. We're not going to do this because this well, whole podcast is going to be <laughs> this, this is not a Dragon Age Inquisition, Inquisition podcast. It's a bad game mm-hmm. or that you didn't like it. I've said that I didn't like it. Mm-hmm. I have not once said it is a terrible That's piece of That's what I was asking. Yeah, I have said that. <laughs> and so I'm just here instigating. No, I'm asking <laughs> you, you think it was a good game. <laughs> someone else, it was probably a good game for me. It wasn't, which I have stated several times. Out of body experience, objectively, not as Ari, do you think just if it's a game, was the game good? Not good for you. Just a good game. Okay, then. <laughs> now you're wrong. <laughs> so. <laughs> it's fine opinion-wise. Yeah. I think Skyrim is trash at this point. Do you? Yeah. No, people spend this. a ridiculous amount of time playing it. That's it true. can't be that yeah, bad. That's right, But Crystal. I knew I felt that's Kaze's right. energy I in the know. room. She knew it was going to be all What's of funny us. Is, she what's funny is, is I'm going to make a joke about her <laughs> later, but she's in the chat. So hi, Kaze. Sorry, Inquisition wasn't good. And we're not, we're not going to do this. <laughs> we already did, though. We already did, though. We're going to go back and <laughs> uh, That was funny. Proven. Yep, it's true. Moving right along. According to the State of the Game Industry Report put out by the Game Developers Conference, the Switch's software sales have been doing exceedingly well. In response to the question, has Switch game sales, quote, has Switch game sales compared to the average across the uh, drink, uh, just make it drink, um, across all the platforms you've launched on, game developers responded that sales have been average or greater than average. Only 16% said sales were less than average. Um, I think that's fantastic news because I was um, I was actually really worried about that. Like, okay, Zelda's going to do great. Mario's going to do great. 
uh, something like, say, um, Shovel Knight being re-released with all the DLC will be great. But I couldn't think, and I even looked through the eShop, of anything else I wanted to buy. Um, I know people um, bought... Um, God, I'm missing another Mario game. Um, the Rabbids one? Or whatever the fuck that was? Yeah. Um, and I'm it's missing something else. Really good. I mean, no wrong, I did play I did play Sonic Mania a lot, which we'll get into later. Uh, but what do you guys think? I mean, with the amount of people who didn't buy a Wii U, there was a bunch of people waiting to buy a Nintendo console, so that wasn't hard to get those mm. people to come back. Because I knew a bunch of Nintendo fans who just didn't buy a Wii U and couldn't wait for the next thing. And they bought a Switch like that. I they did. Mm -hmm. Darn near killed themselves to get a Switch. My Wii U is and literally... And people who skipped the Wii. That's crazy. Yeah. Or by the time they got a Wii, it was like... It was already after the, aftermarket. The or big, they, just grabbed, they didn't right. buy a Wii. They just got a hold of a Wii. Okay. Um, That's well, really weird. Like, if you think about it, though, Nintendo has such a strong fan base in general for everything that they always have mm -hmm. that I would I would obviously expect the sales to be doing great regardless. Right. I mean, people but, are still fighting for them. I, I'm i not sure if you can even really still just walk somewhere and just go and get like three switches or so. You probably oh, well, not three. Well, well, keep in mind, we're, three, we're talking about the, the software specifically, not the because we know, we know the hardware is selling really well because, mm -hmm. you know, but, going back um, to your point about Mario I and Zelda. Mean, it's more, there's not a huge amount of games they have to sell. So the games they are selling... Are people well. buying because what else are they going to buy? Yeah, I mean, Mike somewhere in the chat says Golf Story. I've actually heard that Golf Story is really, really yeah. fucking good. Yeah. I mean, it, I don't think I've heard anything like, bad about any of the games that have come the out. The Wii U right. had a ridiculous amount of okay goods <coughs> and flops. Right. The Switch doesn't have that many games, so at the very least, they've done well making sure most of the games that hit the Switch were right. good. Right, right. Because, like, and, and I've kind of been out of the loop, but, like, there's not, like, anything coming up that I can think of that I'm, like, super like ready to rock excited on oh maybe maybe a project got to pat traveler whatever that ends up being that rpg looks really fun looks very bravely default um josh don't you have a gig to go to stop it. <laughs> josh is in the he chat trust this is going to help oh god I mean, that's so funny time, josh, i would too that's supposedly true. The Switch already has third parties developing for yeah. the Switch. So, otherwise, <laughs> they just put a big old whiteboard of lies last season. Right. Josh is right. busted. I know, right? Like, you guys are surprised, right? bitches are fired. <laughs> uh, yeah, because, but to Josh's point, you know, talking about going to help, you know, it's going to help with getting third parties to develop for the Switch, he's right. Because obviously, they're not going to develop for the Switch if there's no market for it. So, um,. I mean, like games like the WWE 2K, I guess 18, that like had to do a big downscale and were apparently, well, apparently the whole game was trash anyway, mm -hmm. but had to downscale from from there to uh, to to you know make it work on the Switch, which we all I think thought at the time that that was going to be a problem for a few a few games, but doesn't seem to have affected it so far. Um, but Jake does point out. Uh, also, I love you, Jake. Um, that you can buy Skyrim for the 14th time. Do not. Because Bethesda ain't not, giving you nothing else. Right. Do not. Do not uh, tempt Ari, because she's already lost her life to it uh, once. Buy Buggy Viking Simulator once. again and again <laughs> and again. So. I am absolutely saving up for a Switch so I can play. Well, Ramrod EA, yeah, but Bethesda can smash us from behind, and it's okay. Yeah, exactly. Now, a story that Josh pointed out to me that I'm really interested about um, is uh, a job advertisement has appeared this week titled 2D Concept Design slash Key Animation Talents PS4 High End Action Game. According to the post, it's for a drink long-standing consumer game maker <laughs> that sign was awesome all right thank you very much for that long-standing consumer game maker famous for its unique goddess megami and demon rpgs the location for the job is in setagaya which is where atlas's office is based so the job listing mentions that the game is quote a newly underdevelopment playstation 4 project which implies that it's not the in development uh, in development game Catherine. Full body. So not sure if I'm gonna get Catherine. Time full for body. all those Persona Five spinoffs. Well, I mean, they're already in development though. Like we've got trailers and shit for that, you know. So trailers for one, I one we, spin off. Um, Persona Three and Persona Five. I said Persona Five spinoffs. Persona Three ain't getting nothing more than that dancing all night. <laughs> they already put the characters into the fighting game, so that's not gonna happen. Yeah. Persona Five doesn't have its fighting game yet. It doesn't have its dungeon crawler yet. It that's doesn't true. have its second new. Souped up re release, yeah. Like, Persona 5 entry, entry, and obviously with the cast for all three. 
true. So, I mean, sure. Uh, like, and that's the, the, the funny thing is, like, At, I mean, Atlas is known for just, you know, not saying shit to anybody until they let you know that they're delaying the game that you want for six fucking months and then oh, you watch it. Good laugh. Yeah, yeah, because Lewis enjoys my pain. As do so. I. He's not the only one. And I sat and I enjoyed that much better game, Horizon Zero Dawn. <sighs> while you played God. <laughs> I, I played Horizon Zero Dawn and Zelda during that time. Zelda got boring. It, what? Oh, oh my what? God. Did you yeah. beat it? What? We're no, I haven't that. beat it. Oh. I, I wonder why. I <laughs> Something couldn't hold your attention, huh? No, it's not. You should also put a this part bitch. of your long ass title a lover of games that will take me too long to play. <laughs> Persona 5. I'll John Cena! Spoilers! Okay. <laughs> I'm so Off the fucking things. rails, yo. So, moving right Hello, along. Carolina. Hello, dear. Hey, so, moving right along, the Twisted Metal creator, God, I love how off the rails we are already, Twisted Metal, Metal creator David Jaffe announced that his, <laughs> that his studio, Bartlett Jones Supernatural Detective Agency, is being forced to cancel one of his major projects, and that the, quote, vast majority of the studio's game division are being let go. Their latest project, Drawn to Death, was a less than stellar release with both average to low critical review um, and few players despite it being free to play. Jaffe promised more news is forthcoming. And uh, Josh says, maybe come up with a catchier studio name next time. Yeah, I like the, the gumption. I do appreciate the gumption as well. I mean, it, it's 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 really interesting because like we we there's been articles about um about you know crunch and you know uh, deadlines and then people being laid off um, with no you know golden parachutes except for at the top for the longest fucking time. So it's just. It's in, it's the industry's problem that they kind of refuse to solve. I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's a shame because you know you never want anyone to lose any fucking job, but it's also like up to them because like it's all about the okay, this is where we need to be in three years. This is the project is due at this point, and then after that, they don't have any work, so they fire everybody. It's like why don't you just create a set schedule with where someone's working on something at all times. Mm -hmm. You're a studio. You want to make games. You're in the business to make games. And now I'm off my soapbox. Anyone? Any, anything to add? Anyone? I mean, a lot of studios depend on the game being good to make other projects. Sure. I mean, there's already established who came up when it wasn't as haphazardous to put out a bad title, or you're already a good established studio. But if you're up and coming, or you just broke out, and you just fail, and you fail bad, like. You don't come close to covering your profits. That's crazy. You might man. not come back from it. Same thing happens with any business. That's true. That's very true. Except That's true. they spend a large amount of time not making any money off their product unless they get some kind of advances on them. That's true. Putting that product out, and if it doesn't make money, they're fucked. That's true, because it's a, it's a high-risk, high-reward, right? It's, you know, we this is the budget for this. Case in point, all the... Kickstarter back games where there's the yeah. amazing ones that do well that push beyond boundaries of whoa this wasn't a triple A and then the ukuleles yeah did that not do well how many people have you heard talk about ukulele <laughs> one you <laughs> in this no. conversation there you go yeah I guess so I ain't touch ukulele yeah I knew that. I, it was always I like, knew a lot of people excited for it I know yeah. a lot of people who love Banjo-Kazooie and Rare I do yeah and, and that's yet, me. So nobody get, talks about ukulele oops what can, what can you do um moving right along uh so we're, we're fucking blazing through this shit yeah I know maybe speaking of had that inquisition argument <laughs> <laughs> well it's fine we got more stuff so speaking of blazing it terrible segue but I'm really proud of it um, it is covering my face because I'm short. Um, but I appreciate you, bro. Um, I love um, you very much. That's just going to be. The um, I know, right? And you would have had the other cushion if I didn't take it. Yeah. So, so <laughs> once again, it's Ari's fault. As a matter of fact, I think in every podcast, the mic is always kind of covering my face. Yeah, but this so, one, it literally it's short. It looks like you're not, short. we can only see like your eyes. I'm just like, just okay, just my hat. It's your whole I, face. It's just my hat. I'm <laughs> just one. I'm 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 on, I am just Meg Duval great again. I am I am not the person. Uh, but thank you, Brianna. You're I love you very much. Holder. And I miss you. This is a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started on beholders. Yeah. So, God of War and 420 Blizzard fans will be excited for April the 20th this year. 
Sony has announced that God of War will be released for 20, 2018. In a post on the PlayStation blog, director Cody Barlong announced the date and called it his, quote, favorite release day of my entire career. If I live to be 100, I do not think I will be able to top this release day. Pretty heavy words. He continued with, there has been a long journey just to reach this point, so it's a little bittersweet to think that we are only a few months away from that journey finally coming to an end. While I'm sad, I'm also excited because it means everyone will get their hands on this crazy adventure we've been crafting for nearly five years. Which I hope is really good. God, I hope it's so good. Because yeah. I watched my roommate play through God of War Ascension, and boy. We don't talk about Ascension. <laughs> what, what, what did that, what did that him, come out on? I made him stop playing. Uh, I think... <laughs> I think it was originally PSP and it then was came PS3. on. Ascension was the PS3 one. Oh, oh, okay. Chains of Olympus was the PSP one. PSP one, yeah. Like which I absolutely Two played. or three PSP ones, but Ascension. There was, was more than one? There was at least two games over. No, I really? It was Ascension and I, Chains of Olympus. I swear it was the Chains of Olympus. I'm going to go check that out. Just you. give me a second. Because Tell us where we're going. Least two. Mark Mayfield, look it up. See what, see what, we're, see what we're going with. Because you're the man like that. Um, So, according to the Hollywood Reporter. Thank you, Mike. Oh, Ghost of Sparta. Sparta. Oh, Sparta. It was so irrelevant. Summer, it, was it was like 18 different prequels. Ah. Well, we, it, it's it's, it's, it probably sold what? really fucking well. Um, according to The Hollywood Reporter, there's an upcoming Duke Nukem movie in the works that, while it doesn't have a director, it will be produced by Michael Bay. Andrew Form, Andrew Form and Brad Fuller's company, Platinum Dunes. And uh, I spoiled the joke, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Recently, we also learned of who may be cast to play Duke Nukem, and his name is John Cena, and it already happened. So, apparently that's the case. Uh, I think that's interesting. I don't know why they're making this game, or making this movie. Um, it's very clear that no one's interested, based off of the... Uh, the sales that the Duke Nukem game did? Money well, is the root of all evil. Just, That's why they're making this movie. <laughs> that was just a lack of updating the humor for nowish times. Did you did you actually did you check it out? I tried. It was Oh, oh it was a, mean, an attempt at a failure. Good, but like Duke Nukem in the nineties wasn't it was funny, it was mm -hmm. enjoyable. But right. Duke the Duke Nukem they put out in like mid twenty ten really old jokes that weren't even as funny as if if that game had came out in the 90s, wouldn't have been funny then because they didn't write them well. Mm. They went way over the top and... Bad. I can't wait for the inevitable Razzie Award it, it, it gets for, for worst movie of the You're year. You're not ready for them to pull a Doom, but since it's Ooh, so far Doom. away from Duke Nukem, it turns out to be a really good action flick. Unlike Doom, Maybe. where it's like, mm. all you had to do was have a dude shoot zombies on Mars and they made it dumb. I just and don't know. Rock got beat by all kinds. I did like yeah. that they went into first person during that. I was that like, was that good. was that was the only really good part. But I thought that was cool. And that took the whole movie of anything. being bad. Nothing about that movie was about Doom. No. Except I don't even remember. Science. I don't even remember that movie except for I know I watched just it. That part. I've even I've even crazy enough to say that I watched it multiple fucking times. Why? I don't know, man. Were you How? sober? Like, I, uh, yeah. Did you just leave FX on for too long and you just didn't maybe, move away from the TV? That, that has to be it because I refuse to believe that I don't you know. had any other I was, uh, of which to do that. I was in high school, I think, so okay, it was... Okay, that's slightly acceptable. So I was... Not, your frontal cortex so was not completely... I was, I was still listening to Lincoln Park. I high school. I didn't purposely watch Doom multiple Which, which I left still. But... Yeah, I was you know I was busy um, trying to uh, listen to Lincoln Park over and over again um, and getting in fights with my dad. Real talk, blam. Uh, so dark really fast. One one thing that I found really interesting uh, was there's a little game called Celeste uh, that IGN gave a ten to. So before th that I found this out, I had no idea this fucking game existed. And apparently, it's now going to be in the annals of one of the greatest games of all time. So that should be that should be fun. I've so never heard of that. So um, I pulled up the review, and IGN says, "Incredible platforming and an emotional story makes Celeste a surprise triumph." But what is Celeste? So it's a two D the title platform. Of the game. No, but like, what is it about? <laughs> it's the main character. Yeah, a literal 10 out of 10, Mark Mayfield. I know. I was surprised, too. So, I looked at the review, and I'll read you the verdict. Celeste is a surprise masterpiece. Its 2D platforming is some of the best and toughest since Super Meat Boy, with levels that are as challenging to figure out 
<laughs> yeah, it's yeah, Super Meat Boy done. Um, to figure out as they are satisfying to complete. Hidden throughout those levels are a wealth of secrets and collectibles, some of which push the skills it teaches you to the absolute limit, along with enough endgame content to keep you playing for dozens of hours. It's the most vague thing ever. Well, it's the verdict. No, that's still you would no whatever. Hold on, let me finish first. Continue, continue. <laughs> One small it's a, excerpt <laughs> of a review. Oh yeah, my if god. You read the whole thing, that would probably a, be a good summary of no, the review. No, because no right. one can still tell me what Celeste is, but continue your verdict. A 2D platformer with a story! Anything can that be a 2D platformer with a story, but as I said, continue. <laughs> but the greatest no, they triumph. Can't be. But the greatest triumph. Uh, Celeste is that its best in class jumping and dashing is blended beautifully with an important and sincere story and an incredible soundtrack that makes it a genuinely emotional game even when your feet are planted firmly on the ground. But what is it about? What does that even mean? That could be anything. That could be anything. No, it can literally be anything. What is chocolate milk about? That could be anything. No, it's about (laughs) fucking chocolate milk. Yep. Celeste is a 2D platformer. Okay, good. The With a high difficulty and a good story. Could be anything. But no, it is that. <laughs> Jake Bowden says it's not an <laughs> RPG. Jake Bowden killed it. It says it's about Celeste. Oh. Well, I mean, plot equals spoilers. <laughs> See, Tiger has a really good point. Thank you. You know, If you want to find out more about it, maybe you should pick it up, Ari. No, because it's already or watch a trailer. Why? It's already vague enough. But I mean, but the but the thing, and that's that's actually what I wanted to talk about was is. I ain't gonna be sitting there. Are these platforms gonna be there when I jump or not? <laughs> what is this about? Do I land? What is this about? Right. Is it about timing? It's, what is life? I no. I just I was looking but, over your shoulder while you read. I'm like, this isn't telling me anything. That's I why. Know. Well, I mean, I could have read the whole thing, but then we'd be here all night. Yes. Thank Thank you, Brianna. That is that is big book. See, I, oh, what's funny is I was so blindsided by your rage just now, which is really funny to me because I'm never blindsided by your rage <laughs> because it's usually sent to me in all caps. What is, yeah. what is it about? But so, what is it about? So, what do you think it is about? I wouldn't goddamn know. <laughs> I just know that it's a 2D platform with an emotional story. Indeed. And I'm really, like. So this is bothering people. I'm gonna try to figure this out. The literal. Do you want the cushion back? You know, no, nah, it's fine. You know what? I'm just gonna. I'm Thank gonna you, Mark. You could probably just like. I could do that, Mark. but eh, you know, no, no big deal. So, um, the one thing I do want to talk about is 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 review scores because um, when when IGN specifically gives a gives a ten to something before they they even push the article out, there's a big big team wide meeting and they go. I gave you questions. I know, Josh. <laughs> Ari took one. I did. Bit. Oh, You're Lord so have mercy. I know, and I'm also short, so it doesn't help. Bring your f- just a little bit more. Just like, right? right. I just want the eyes open. Okay, oh, just take the okay. fucking cushion. Okay, just, there we go. No. Perfect. Okay, see, see what you cushion. did? See what you guys did? Get up and take the fucking cushion. <laughs> Sit down. It didn't help. What is that about? I don't know what this is. I'm what so is that about? I'm so happy right now. <laughs> He's still he's short. Really what is this about? Face. This tells me nothing. I still can't I'm see so his face. Happy. What is I'm this so about? Happy. Remember to we'll check do, out Celeste now. We can't tell you what we'll it's do, about. We'll do this. <laughs> well, I'll just hold it right here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. That was amazing. Oh. I knew that was going to happen. Thank <laughs> you. And now I just oh have my little cushion ass on a chair and uh, you're so short, so no one won! Oh god. No I one feel, won. I feel like I feel like we won. I feel like we <laughs> all won. To the peak of a mountain. Exactly. Can That's you tell me about, about the mountain? Is no. the mountain an emotional story Wait, with two Is it arts? journey? Is it journey? <laughs> Well, which was also well, a ten power but... you, it was a two D game, so you already knew that. That's bullshit, and you shut up. You know what? Continue. <laughs> we didn't say it was a two D platform. What are we talking? We didn't say that. Oh, oh, we didn't say it was a two D no, platform. We continue Ari. about this we game, did? Okay. which is so, so amazing. Even though no one can tell me it's what the a three D pinball what adventure. What the hell it's about that won a ten out of ten on IGN? It's got the best IGN. fighting game roster of all time. Give people ten. Out I'm 10. laughing so hard, I'm sweating. Dante is DLC. <laughs> you can play two more in the arcade area. You could unlock Cloud <laughs> from Final Fantasy VII. There it's is no Knuckles. That was a rumor. Uh, does he know the way? I made that. We're not that. doing that. Oh, I just had to. So, uh, how much 
much of a game story do you need to know to know what the game oh is about? God. I need something other than that. That's for damn sure. Like, but like, but, but no, it got ten out of ten. Uh, like, what did you know about Final Fantasy X before you played Final Fantasy X? That's a good question. Uh, it's an uh, RPG, and it's a journey to do the thing. She didn't know what she was doing in Final Fantasy X, because you didn't know what you were doing in Final no, Fantasy X at the start of playing Final Fantasy X. it was a gift from my cousin, and I played it. So that was good enough? That was good enough. It was a gift. You yes, knew nothing of the game, gift. except it was Final Fantasy X. And the cover looked cool, so I the played it. The cover looked cool! <laughs> she didn't know what the game was about! Except it's Final Fantasy, so she at least knew it was an RPG. So she knew it was an RPG, the cover looked cool, there was water. So you knew there'd be some water because of the cover and a blonde guy. Co- the cover and a blonde guy. You knew that much. Meg Ryan and, was on the cover, you're and, correct. And he, and he had a sword made of water, which was really cool. So she knew there was double the water. Yes. And Are that was enough for that Final game. Fantasy? I'm going to pull up I'm gonna pull up the Final Fantasy X review, and I'm going to look at what the verdict is, and I'm going to read it to Ariana. Because I am guy. fucking, I am petty as you shit. Tell Ari I am exactly petty as a motherfucker right now. The game and All right. what makes the game special. Okay. So what I'm gonna read the, oh, ver- wow. the verdict for Final Fantasy X X Two Remastered is even shorter. <laughs> Final <laughs> Fantasy X and X Two Remastered is already, already. Oh my god, there's a typo in this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make read this it up. as is. <laughs> I can't make this up. Final <laughs> Fantasy X X Two HD Remastered is already a great way <laughs> to play these classic RPGs on the PS3 and Vita, and the even prettier PlayStation 4 version comes with the visual improvements you'd expect for the new generation platform. So What's it about, Ari? So What's it about? Is that enough? 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 Is I have what? always agreed on. That's one thing that we can stand on. I, 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 I am on. so blown away right now by this. <laughs> oh, you Jesus. You damn right I'm the decider. <laughs> just so that's Tristan. <laughs> I will describe Celeste. Celeste to anyone who asks me. Okay, we, pull it up right now and describe to me what Celeste is. You no, we're doing Celeste this. Celeste Mountain. It's a 2D platformer. I, that's the first that's sentence. That's not a description. All right, go ahead. Yes. Pull it back up. That is just a Do I have to? That is oh, my God. Do I have to play Final Fantasy in this grand to get it? How would you describe Super Mario Brothers? Yes. Oh, Cody, you are coming into a perfect fucking time, my man. We are off the motherfucking rails, baby. No, we are on the rails. You still haven't told me what And you know what the best part is? We're all sober. Super Mario Brothers. We're all sober. Without going into the plot or anything. Just just tell me what Super Mario Brothers is. What What kind of game is Super Mario Brothers? Tell me what Celeste is. Tell me what kind of game is Super Mario Brothers. What was Because I feel like I can say it's a 2D platformer. (laughs) It is. No, that Super Mario is a 2D platformer. (laughs) I wouldn't immediately think. Oh, it's 2D. Hey, oh, it has to be Mario. That's I haven't seen Mario in a while. How are you? All right, Mike is gonna send us some info. Um, you know what? That I will click on from Wikipedia if I can find. <laughs> I love that else. everyone is like, now we want to know what the fuck Celeste. I know, right? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Celeste is a platform video game by Matt Thorson and No Barry. <laughs> I'll read the. Oh my god. How's the jumping? Who knows? If any of either of you buy Celeste for me, we're. We're going to war. Oh my god. Well, if you I buy the cover art, we know you'll play it. Yeah. If it's free in the cover yeah, art, it's nice. the cover art. Oh, wait. You gotta I be her blown cousin. Away. You got to be her cousin. Um, we forgot the final step in the art. I don't even game. know. Mark, I, we tried to move on. I think we're never going to leave this. No, we okay. got a 10 out of 10. Okay, so. Okay, I'll, so. I'll reel it in. So, and that's what, what I wanted to talk about was. was um, Review, like reviews itself, mm. but apparently we found two reviews that don't do enough for Ari. Uh, but uh, and, and like, because like, what's cool, what's crazy about it is like, there's only I counted about in total. So consider how many, how many thousands of games there are out there. There's only like 50 games that have gotten a 10 from IGN, and like we're talking Last of Us, we're talking Chrono Trigger, you know, uh, we're talking. Um, Link's Awakening DX, Oracle of Ages and Seasons. We're talking about some fucking straight up classic games. So I was curious before we went fucking bananas, um, what that if what that if anything means to you guys. You don't even look. Look, you talk to Lewis right now. <laughs> I don't know how you got in trouble. I don't know. <laughs> hey Ari, 
I miss you. <laughs> You're so no far away from each other. I think that now that we've had two different reviews oh my God. <laughs> from IGN giving I'm not, the 10 out of 10. I've never been huge oh. on IGN. I've never really cared for how other people review games. Like, okay. I want to play it to see how it is because mm. you don't know what they're, like, okay, for one, that Final Fantasy review is really terrible. No. Do I really trust, am um, I going to cheat off that kid's notes on the final? No. Right. Well, I, and, and what's interesting about, like, so, so, well, let's roll back for a second. So you said you've never been high on IGN. Why is that? I just don't trust them. Really? I don't trust video game journalism at this point. What? Much. Oh. oh, interesting. I, I trust people who play video games. I don't always trust the articles mm-hmm. from people playing mm-hmm. those video games. Especially... In video game journalism, mm. there's been multiple showings of really illicit and not games that were obviously bought out with the reviews. Mm-hmm. No one wanted to say it but me. I'm black. I'm a girl. I'm bi. I'm gonna just throw it out there because everyone's like, "Well, I don't really want." No, because you can't really trust these reviews. Do you remember when that? Um, I don't remember exactly which one that the Assassin's Creed game where they literally barred people from reviewing it the first 24 hours that it came out. What, what game was it again? It was an Assassin's Creed game. Oh, was it Assassin's Creed? Yeah, okay. It was literally they were not allowed to release a single <laughs> review after, before like 24 hours. Yeah, because it was suspicious. bad, probably. Lots yeah. of people do that. <clears throat> yeah, well, no, they do. That, games was, a real, that, that was a really big deal. Hour. And that was around when Mine. people really did start questioning yeah. journalism and reviews I mean, and video games and things got bigger. That right. was one of the first. Despite the horrible moments. things that came in Gamergate, there was a, a eventual part. There mm-hmm. was just a bunch of journalists that sat together and talked in a group chat and sat there and said, hey, we're going to bar this dude out just because we don't like something he said. Right. And uh, that reminds me, do you, and, remember, do you remember when, um, what's his face? First name is Jeff. He worked at GameSpot. Um, uh, God, I no, I'm sorry. Really? It was, no. no, damn it, I, doesn't matter. There was a, there was a guy that reviewed uh, Ken and Lich two and gave it a really bad score, and they essentially went like character assassinated the dude. Gamespot fired him, like it, because it, they were promoting the game. Right. So Jeff Grossman, thank Thanks. you, thank you, uh, Giant Bomb. That's that's right. Yeah. That's right. Um, and I, I, I and, and that's what's crazy is I because I'm. Um, I'm definitely a victim of this, and I was listening to um, a, a podcast about this where they IGN has analytics to where they know that people will look at the article and just scroll down to see the score and get the fuck out of Dodge. Mm-hmm. Um, so, because there's been many a times where I've seen like, okay, so that's the score, and that's the that's the thing, and I'd always forget that it's this is not IGN, um, and I think a lot of people out that would would say that they probably do the same thing is that. Um, when you look at a review, it's still just one person's opinion. It's not the official opinion of the company. It's that one person. And I think we forget about that kind of stuff. I mean, I treat vi- this point, I treat video game news the same way you should treat all news. And special reviews, I'm going to check multiple sources. One person is sure. going to say one thing. One person is going to say yeah. another thing. One person is going to say another thing. Well, why right. check multiple sources when you can just do the primary source and do it yourself? I mean, Because I'm not going to play through every game I might want to play through. Well, right. that's why one of the really great things is that we have something like Twitch, where if you're not sure if you want to get a game, you can just watch someone start playing. I don't want to hear their like, voice. Oh, something I do not want to hear that person's Twitch voice. There are streamers that don't talk, that literally just play the game. Oh, really? You yes. can go online on YouTube not and all you can of play them. through if you're interested in seeing Again, it. not all of them. Which is true, but I'm just saying, instead of just yeah. being like, well, that person didn't like it that person liked it you're just picking i don't mind reading you want to watch something i want to read something i have to actually see it it's still putting in the media yeah i just don't trust what people have it's also the time it's also the time to invest in that either way you're investing time in checking something out because because also on top of that by watching someone play the game you're also spoiling it too in Mm -hmm. and in 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 some respect it's a story intense game i'm not gonna be able to watch that much of the game before I eventually hit something I'm not going to want to know. If it's hey, a super I mean, gameplay intensive see, game, but there will be a point where I'm you do see a trailer check the of it. You wouldn't just get a game because you hear it's good. At some right. point, you have to have seen a trailer. You have to have something going in. Like, you're not going to be like, oh, I'm going to walk into GameStop. Oh, that cover looks cool. I'll just take or, that one without or, seeing or perhaps something reading, about it. reading the verdict of a, of a, of a, of a review. The vague, vague look ass <laughs> verdict? Yes. Big yeah. book review. Not that hard to read about a game. Like I That's type true. it into Google and then I can check some stuff out about it. That's true. I can ask about it. If it's Steam, I can check the reviews of a bunch of people who have nothing better to do than <laughs> play that game. Well, there you go. So, woo! Yeah. Everybody, okay? everybody, it's everybody, it's everybody, watch videos it's too, everyone but, okay? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I watch videos too, but I'm not watching half the playthrough of a game to find out if I like it. I don't know why you're talking to me like this when Jacob's like, I watch all of Persona 5 completely well, when it Jacob came out. Jacob has a problem. 
Jacob watches more games than he plays at this that's, point. That's it's <laughs> almost true. And I have friends who do that. They I've seen them buy a game, play some of it, and then just watch the game. That's crazy. Not finish the game. Okay, I'm that like, I okay. Like, well, it's a game that I'm like, I'm never gonna pick it up, but I want to see how it goes. Gotcha. Like, um, God, I did that with a game recently that I didn't think I was gonna pick up, so I, I just watched it. Mm-hmm. I don't even remember. So yeah, That's I guess I do have a problem. I mean, we're open to that media. Yeah. I, I just so I would I love to play to all the games PS2. that I get, but I don't have the time to play all the game with everything going on as an adult. Like, I just don't have the time. Yeah. And I still want to enjoy it, and I don't think that it's wrong to do that. No. And yeah, like, for your own prerogative, I get it. You want to read, you want to do your research. Yeah, sure. I mean, if I'm I... like an instant gratification type of person at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> like, yeah. real talk. I mean, I'm usually multitask, but let's say I wanted to replay something on my PS2. Unless I really have this undeniable need to play that game, mm-hmm. I'll just watch a full playthrough of that game while I'm doing stuff. That's crazy. I watched mm-hmm. all of Shadow Hearts 1 because mm-hmm. I wasn't going to play through Shadow Hearts 1. I wanted <laughs> to play through Shadow Hearts 2, but I wanted to go through the whole trilogy. So right. I sat mm-hmm. and, and watched over it. time watched Shadow Hearts 1 on YouTube while doing stuff. See, it's convenient. It's something that people just do. Yeah, but I already knew the so I guess game. So essentially, they're doing a service for you then. No. Yeah. And that's a good way of looking at it, I think. So, uh... PSN servers were down this week, um, and they, I believe, were up and down um, all week. Uh, so, I thought that would be a fun thing to talk about. For the third time this week, PlayStation Network is experiencing issues for users on PS4 and PS3. Account management and PlayStation Now are having trouble, but more importantly, gaming and social services are also disrupted. This means that you may have some difficulty launching games, applications, or online features. So, and this got this article got updated a few times. This is on GameSpot. Mm-hmm. And, uh, the uh, first update was that, that, and this was earlier this week, that the uh, gaming and social services are slowly stabilizing. The PlayStation Network service page now lists them as online. Update two. After a brief period of stability, gaming and social services have become disrupted again. Sony's PlayStation Network service status page once again notes that you may have some difficulty launching games, applications, or online features. Update three. Gaming and social services have returned to normal operation. And that was last updated as of January the 28th, 3 or 2 p.m., which I think is today. Yeah, that's today. So that's earlier this afternoon. So, yeah, and we'll get into Monster Hunter and, 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 uh, and of course, um, you know, people playing Destiny and Overwatch and all that good stuff. But um, I was wondering um, how you guys feel about, like, always on services when they go down. Because I know that it's very simple and easy to get immediately red hot and you forget that you know people and things aren't perfect all the time and that nothing's up 100 percent of the time and you can do something else but you know it's it's when you want to do that one thing you'd rather be doing that obviously right i mean if a game doesn't need to be online always i prefer that it have an offline mode Mm. because there's some games that have single player and multiplayer but you have to have online on always even for the single player mm. that's dumb as shit it is pretty dumb isn't it do you guys remember um back during when there was a 360 and you had your subscription if you had like netflix and hulu if you didn't have the um subscription you couldn't even check out netflix and hulu yep i do if that i had that kind of online issue i would have been pissed yeah because you're paying now, for it now they're it, thank separate God. thankfully but like in that kind of situation i'd be like well now i can't do anything right right exactly especially if when they're advertising these consoles as all around entertainment systems gaming movies television whatever um and so of course and as someone in the in the tech industry i can appreciate when things go down i have brought multi i've brought a multi-billion dollar website down by myself check that box he is so and proud, he is so proud. I've, I've done it twice um did get fired surprise Patrick. <laughs> I, I, I am not a, mess up this week. Yeah, I know. I want to call for the Super Bowl. <laughs> I'm not touching shit. <laughs> but, I mean, also the timing is just bad because with all of the online games that just came out, yeah, that's what's yeah. disrupting people. Yeah. If we didn't have like Monster Hunter, Dragon Ball Z, all that Destiny, people probably would have been like, oh, okay. But all of that coming out and then having this issue when a lot of the reasons people are doing it is the online support right. is kind of it. That's some 2018 yeah. already wild. Yeah, I mean, and it's it's really it's it's just yeah, it's just I mean, it, it obviously it's, it, it'd be shit timing anytime really, but especially right now with with Monster Hunter and the new DBZ game coming out and, and stuff like that, that that it's uh, 
it becomes a, a bit of a problem. Mm -hmm. um, so there's that. Uh, let me make sure I've covered everything, and then we can Do move right so along. Many tabs open. It's like looking into a mirror right now. It's only six. You should see my fucking laptop. I have seven. It's like right thirty. Now. <laughs> you you have it memorized? <laughs> yes. Do you have, have like have eight thousand tabs it. open on Not my computer? Not one will have Celeste on. But it. always clear out my eight. <laughs> extra tabs on my phone after a while that's gets too much scrolling down jesus mm. we're a fucking mess you guys no, and i love it did i cover it we love you guys i we do we do indeed yep we fucking covered all that shit blam 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 so um lewis hmm? what have you been playing there we nothing go. but okay all right really <laughs> <laughs> Nothing today but Monster Hunter <laughs> World yeah. and a bunch of Dragon Ball Z fighters, both of which are amazing games. Tell me about them. Um, Dragon Ball Z fighters is really solid. It's I almost used a bunch of fighting game terms. Okay. <laughs> no, no, just just do it. Go in, baby. Just um, do it. Go ahead. We'll look clueless. It's made by Arc System, people who make Guilty Gear. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I do know Guilty Gear. It's really solid. I mean, if you like Dragon Ball Z, you'll enjoy the games. The story mode, from what I played, fully voiced in Japanese and English. Mm -hmm. I played in English because I... I don't like Japanese Dragon Ball Z voices. Thank I you. love that there was a pause. Her. Someone's going to clip this out, and it's just going to say, I don't like Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> the JRPG fan hates Japanese. I know, right? Um, <laughs> I like the voices better in English, too, but I grew up on it. So yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the reason why. I can watch everything else. I don't care what language it is. Yeah. Like. Um, it's really solid fighter. Uh, roster's really good. It's thick. The story mode's really nice so far. Um... I mean, I'm not super deep, but mm -hmm. depending on who you have in your party and where you go, I mean, there's a lot of conversations between them. It feels like you're watching episodes of the show. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was watching um, Brandon uh, Davis. You should actually follow him on Twitch. Uh, Sixation, S-I-X-A-T-I-O-N. Plug. You're plugging everybody. I know, right? Yeah. Um, well, I was watching him play um, some the DBC fighter last night. He actually just beat the final boss or whatever um because oh. it's a fighting game so who cares about spoilers <laughs> i'll spoil it for you guys if you haven't seen the show yeah. then what are we gonna do yeah. the game spoiled the final <laughs> oh yeah i guess like right at the beginning probably so yeah, yeah android it's 21 ending after this season is it really yeah they're stopping oh. after this after the last arc there's really nothing else yeah to do. i mean considering they're destroying all the f other fucking universes yeah, <laughs> yeah i guess so said that he's stopping after this. oh we are fucking losing our shit today let's Yo, go that was a great dexterity save uh, roll for it. And back to the D&D. Roll for it. It's gonna suck, too. Ah, I also get plus 14. How do you get, how do you fucking get yes, plus 14? 17. How do you get fucking plus 14? Because you didn't tell me I didn't have anything before. <laughs> <laughs> and it's 17. It wouldn't so it matter anyway. It wouldn't fucking matter. <laughs> Continue. Fucking rogues. Anyway. This is the one with the Vaxel tongue. I know. The next save was. I know, right? <laughs> the save was me catching it, which I did and then rolled for. Yeah, it's kind of the exact opposite. Would, but you get, you get you it. You have to let it drop after if you rolled it next. Yeah, I was like, no, 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 if, no. <laughs> if, if, honestly, it? honestly, if she had rolled a natural one, I would have just knocked it over. <laughs> Just and then Josh boom. would have come and cut it off. Oh, yeah, D and D for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that way, that Take that that holds power. It oh. does. It does. It is your life. Um. So, uh, so you, so you played D, uh, DBZ. Um. You played. Uh, so tell me a monster. Okay. So I got off work, went to Walmart, picked up Monster Hunter World. I love how there's a whole. Eventually story. got home, <laughs> and then I did nothing else but play Monster Hunter, <laughs> and it is amazing. It's beautiful. The creatures move amazingly. Like, uh, for a second, I was like, the creatures move. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what like, groundbreaking? Like when, when they're moving, I don't feel like I'm just watching an enemy run by. I feel like I'm walking past a part of an ecosystem at some times. Mm. Not all the time. I'm not gonna act like it's all the time. It's not some perfectly made, mm -hmm. remade fantasy world. But when a giant dinosaur like thing is running by but ignoring me that is exactly how it moves like it's ignoring me if it's trying to eat me and bust through a wall when i'm fighting something else i definitely feel that same panic feel you would have i don't know if you were the one in the back of that jeep in jurassic park mm -hmm. that feeling when something levels way way higher levels than me that last i saw was asleep halfway across the map decided it was busting through this wall. Busting and I like a girl in panics. Oh, so you get so there's a lot of like interacting with the environmental. It's not just you have to go out and get a monster. It's just like Yeah, no, really you gotta crazy. track it down, you gotta find it. I mean you are hunting. 
That's yeah. Right. Um, and I mean, the monsters move beautifully. They're fluid. The natural. They don't feel forced. I don't feel like I'm fighting some weird boss for every fight. I feel mm. like I'm fighting some large creature I have to take down. Man, yeah, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to picking fun. it up. The whole world is nice. Um, animations are good. I had. It was really freezing pretty. when like the monsters are a good bit out of the way because mm-hmm. they let you see a good bit of the screen rendered. But once you get close, they're moving fine. Oh, I mean, cool. I haven't had any texture popping problems, which well, that's is really good. nice to see in a newer game. Yeah, especially one very large. Like, uh, I'm curious to see how, how big the world is. Um, I mean, I've got I'm on my second area right now. Mm-hmm. And I mean they're pretty big. Yeah, I I, I, I have it. I just total, yeah, haven't had a chance to play it yet. Yeah, and I'm glad that they did the beta for so long too, because like I played it? Monster Hunter when it was on DS. Yeah, that's the last time I played it. Too. I saw it on there and I downloaded it, and it was really nice to get that kind of feel. Yeah. So it's something I definitely would be excited to get. I'm not sure when I would get it when I have time to no. play it, because if I buy it, like I absolutely want to play it. Sure. But it looks good. I've watched some of my favorite streamers who've been recently playing it, and it looks amazing. Like badass. You ain't gotta put it. That sneaky look into it. I saw them eyes. What sneaky Ari. look? You ain't fooling nobody, Ari. Oh, what? Celeste? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's never going away. No, I do want to get it. I just don't have any time. I definitely had to buy it, Celeste now. It. Yeah. That's How about you stream games. it on your PlayStation 4 and I'll watch it? Fine. Oh! All right! Hey! We have an accord! <laughs> Yay! We did it together, you guys. Ari, right, what the fuck are you playing? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I do want to play Doki Doki Literature Club. But... Everyone should play that game. Yes. Why don't you tell me what Doki Doki? Uh, what are you? you? Can't. You just play it. Yeah, oh. it's one of those you just have to jump into. It. You are full of shit. <laughs> you are fucking full of shit. <laughs> I like. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Because I, I knew what I was going to say. I knew what I was going to say. He's just gonna, I had to sit in the middle of all this. And she's gonna Oh my god. It. Okay, because I was sitting there. It? I had to replay it in my head. I was like, and then like my face went like wide. I was like, are you fucking yes. kidding me with that shit? Yes. What is it about? You coming to my That tells me nothing. <laughs> that tells me oh, nothing. I love my setups. Oh my god. You coming to my house with that shit? We're not even in my house. We're, We're in Josh's not. house. Um, so you haven't been playing anything, but is, is it uh, because yeah. adulting? Yeah, it's just mostly adulting. I have yeah. the time. I want to. God, I want to play a game so bad. I actually really... Also, she's a liar because she definitely played Skyrim recently. Okay, that's why I'm going visible on Steam because I'm tired of people calling me out. Because we know, know you live. playing Skyrim. See, here's the thing, though. We know. I'm not looking at your, your Steam. I just I fucking you. know you. You're playing Skyrim. I know you. That's you it. You don't have... No, like no Doki spoilers. Like, got I it. I got time for nothing, but they binge watch shows all the time. Yep. No, you don't have time for anything after that. Like, you ain't got no time after Skyrim. Like, I... For... I'm definitely in the... In the... In the in the club of... Uh, man, I don't got time. <laughs> <laughs> what did Mark say? What is Celeste? You just have to play it. Yep, you're right. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Dude. Plus, I didn't want to spoil anything. Spoilers. Plot, I read the plot equals spoilers. I love yeah, this fucking game. Yeah, you can't you know, talk you, about you, plot you, at all. You literally, if you chose any other game, I would have told you, but yeah. you really, I can't say anything without spoiling stuff. That's amazing. I have been wanting to replay um, Tales from the Borderlands. Ooh, yeah. interesting. And my brother With right now. With one of the greatest fighting scenes have, of all time. Um, we both have the Handsome Jack collection. He's been replaying Borderlands 2 from the beginning. So probably sometime this week, I want to hop on and play that again because I will play Borderlands And you can play forever, that instead forever. of Skyrim. <laughs> you leave my addiction alone until I am committed, I'm fine. How many hours do you think you've, you've done by now? I put... <laughs> There's two bachelor degrees in Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> That's true because I'm the, I'm the leader of the mages of winter <laughs> Um. Jesus Christ. I'm going to put my head down and not look up when I say this. Oh God, here we go. 2300 hours. What the shit? My, what? Boy, I ain't put that in the fucking, league. I am going, I'm gonna let everybody know. I'm gonna go over to Ari's house and I'm gonna delete it off of her no! fucking computer. And no! you best motherfucking believe no! that I will do it. Wait, I will. No. 2300 hours off. Not just Steam. I've had it on everything but the oh, I'm, Switch. I, no, I was trying to find out Which if means, it was only the Steam. Think about this. No. Think about this, ladies and no. gentlemen. That means that she's taking the time to look at every single system she's played Skyrim and, it and then added it together. And then she kept playing. It's a Jesus estimate. Christ. And, and, also, and also, wait for it, wait for it. Yes. Hasn't even beaten the final boss. 
<laughs> How do we even put the final boss? Oh my god, Jake. So Jake just told us that's 90 Oh my god. god. That is crazy. I have played actually, it. I have actually, played it. No, no, no. She's let, gonna let be me. at 96 days in no time. She's gonna be at 96 days tonight, no, probably. I believe in rounding up, so it's 96. Oh my I, god. I played That is okay. so fucking crazy. Okay, I played Skyrim at a time where I really needed an escape. So most yeah, of that, I did too. But I was playing that shit for three hundred hours. Did you play it for here. two months straight and not leave the house? God, uh, oh, I played it for like a month. I was going to school. Okay, then. <laughs> did you, you even have right friends? Now? <laughs> or did you see? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't on it. I oh feel like my, it would have been an intervention. Oh my god! <laughs> Is you a I'm blown right away. Now? And the other are you thing, okay at no, home? And, and you know I, what the word? And I live alone too, so y'all can't tell me shit. At least my were like okay we, we it's time but yeah, I'm like three months, months of Skyrim. Skyrim. I never and, thought. No, and, I thought you were gonna say like, like a thousand. Nowhere in my wildest three months fucking dreams. Work week. Three <laughs> months and a work week. Oh my Skyrim. god. Jacob, do you remember when I was streaming Skyrim? And I then do. We got that far with Parthenox. That's the farthest I've ever gotten. <laughs> Think about this. <laughs> Wait, in, the story, the story? in the story, in the story, she's not even to Parthenox because I wanted two to thirds of the way town. through it. She's not even halfway through I the fucking story. story and she's played it for 2300 fucking hours. To be I fair, can't believe that. To be but fair, the first thousand was on the 360 and then I didn't know, then I got Steam and I realized I could mod it. So it was a whole different experience. You put a thousand <laughs> hours into Skyrim without mods? Yes. I want to cry. I, ability, I, I want to cry right now. You. I want to cry. I, I absolutely. If I had the chance, I'm going to call your I'm father. <laughs> I'm going to tell on you. <laughs> a thousand on a three sixty. Yes. Okay. Give, Most give people's three sixties don't last a give thousand me, hours. Give me the number on each system. Good Lord. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh what? Oh what? You you can't go okay, one step further than the 2300 hours already? Distribute the 1300 <sighs> between Steam and then my brother bought it for me for PS4. So I'm gonna go like this. <laughs> I'm gonna go like this. We know a stack. We know there's a stack. Okay, you remember back when I was streaming? I would play Skyrim from 10 p.m. to like two in the morning, and sure. I did that for weeks just for streaming. Scroll that right, chat right? down. <laughs> Where's the mouse? <laughs> Found it. A master degree only a takes 120 school. credit hours. That's true. I'm in school for something so, else. So she's a so she's got like a quadruple doctorate. I don't. Yes, what, what's the? Here's the question. 120. The question. <laughs> the question is is what is the degree in? Like, me, like it's not just it's not just a like I want to find a real life degree. <laughs> And I want to you call like UNF and be like, nah, dog, you guys owe her this. <laughs> she got 2,300 Skyrim hours. Yeah. We need to catch Did you put that shit on your resume yet? No. Because I would. Dedication. Uh, Air, uh, they know you're Skyrim. loyal and you don't quit. Right, right, right. <laughs> I'm huh. still playing when so, I go home to you guys. I, I, I fucking, so 1,000 <laughs> on the 360. Yeah. I'm going to say about. 1150-ish. Professor Skyrim. On the Steam. Yes. Professor Skyrim. And that's, then, my, that's my new name. And the last 150 on PS4. Jesus. Is that about right? And I've had to learn not to go on invisible is, on is there. Is that so about that right? People Is can't. that about right? <laughs> Judge she me. got a degree in arrow <laughs> to the D. I love you, Jake. I'm just going to beat your ass, Jake. Uh, oh, my God. I feel like so. my numbers were about right on Ari's <laughs> Skyrim addiction. Yeah, I think you, you could have recreated the entire show of The Wire with a good budget. You could have built. You could have. You could have developed the game yourself with that many okay, fucking then, hours. Then let's do a podcast for all the things Ari could have done instead of play so much. Oh my Ari. god, <laughs> do we? We won't ever. Hit that. that would go farther than the end of the universe. The sun is supposed to collide with the Earth before then. We got to do exactly twenty three. <laughs> Hundred different things Ari could have done. <laughs> oh, play Skyrim for twenty three hundred hours. I am and like, think of it this way. And that, no, 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 feel ashamed no, about my league time. But no, no, no. Let's I'm blown away right now. I'm gonna say something, and I feel like you're both just. That was just me playing Skyrim. I also have Morrowind and Oblivion. Oh God, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> How, give me the number. No. Give me the number. Those I don't know as well as Skyrim. Skyrim oh my is my favorite because of dragons. But I How do have games. Have you went? You guys do not know this chick's obsession on. with dragons. Let me fucking tell you. I do love Never dragons. when you see her in real life. Never say the following sentence. <laughs> so Ari, why do you like dragons? You'll never fucking finish the this, this conversation. It'll it'll be about twenty three hundred hours. Why do you love beholders? <sighs> because they're so fun. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. They're so fun. The first run. Dragon Age is definitely over hundred hours. Yeah, yeah, for sure. 
Oh yeah. my god. On, um, I I'm used to doing like 100 hours per game, okay, but that was back Lewis. in the day when I wasn't um, doing shit. Do you like Final Fantasy 12? Okay, so like, yes, that's another 100 hours. Oh, I mean, I got a Oh, somebody's I, telling yeah. on you. Yeah. Natalia says, I've seen your hours locked on Mass Effect. Okay. How many is that? Spill, spill, spill the tea. Spill, spill the tea. tea Man, we are milk. And, and Dragon Age. Oh, Natalia, hey, we need log, no, no, no. Log into, no. Your scar, you, log into your stream and tell us. Go to bed. Do it. Tell us. No, All right. she's known me so, since high school. She's known me since before I knew, like, eyeliner and shit. Oh my god. I don't think we know Hold on, damn. Wait, 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 wait. How, how is more power than I used to How is eyeliner a function of time? It is totally. How is that possible? Jacob, yes, Jacob. I don't know how to contour, so let me put this extra 50 hours in on Dragon Age tonight. Wait, that's not I, I don't even know what to say. I definitely understand what that it feels like to, to to build Josh's shoes, though, and like that that video about him like fucking losing his shit. Shame Ari session. Don't uh, we have it's to talk about Shame Ari you, you know what? Well, when it started, when you fucking talk shit about curious. my girl Celeste, that's what happened. I'm who? Just curious. Who? Who? Where? What? When? Bitch, tell it now. I don't think you care that you, much about when that. When did you become girl. Jasmine Peekney? <laughs> No. You're not since doing new stuff. Thank you, since Jamie. Before I let you, Jamie, do Sarah. not defend me. No, her. no, y'all, they don't understand. Oh my god, I'm so blown away right now. They don't understand. So what? <laughs> I know people who can't do makeup. I can't do makeup. It was a different time of my life. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so blown We're away right now. Sure, baby, sure. Wow. So, I'm trying to be so I didn't so know you had a problem. No, so, no I'm for the fine. audio listeners. That was uh, Ari and Lewis slap fighting. You know what? You know what? For the podcast, for a playthrough, we should be me. Next like, time I'm hanging out with Ari, I'm gonna snatch a Skyrim oh out of yeah. hand. Yeah. Know how much I know about. Oh that game. my god, I never want to be in the same room with you playing Skyrim. Even though that's leave, ironic because I've watched you play. If you yeah. leave copies of Skyrim in a trail, will Ari pick them up? No, yeah. I already have my own copies. No. I'm sorry. Save states with a respectable amount of hours. I'm gonna throw my copy of Skyrim in the trash, and I'm gonna get a message from Ari. <laughs> you take that shit out of the right motherfucking now. trash right now. The Skyrim's still good. What you doing? <laughs> I do with the Skyrim. Yeah. You know what? Let me let me get that Skyrim. It's on the Xbox 360, Ari. It don't, it don't fucking matter. I'll make something out of it. So I am not ashamed of the things that I love. You guys Jesus. <laughs> I put lots of hours into some games. Yeah. But not 2300, though. And 2300, you well, have... Well, Skyrim came back a few, a Actually, few years ago. Not with so the mods. You can split not the time. The I'll give you the 1300 with mods. Right. Yeah. But, but the stack yeah. without... You'd already done everything possible except beat the game. And I don't know what happens after Parthenos. And, and you that's totally crazy. Keep doing and I those played all of the DLC. Over. That's so crazy. Everything. Wait, 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 wait. So you've beaten the DLC. Yeah, the DLC without... have nothing to do with the main story. They're just Yes, they do. No, they don't. Well, not not the Lakeview Manor one. The Dragonborn the one is especially Oh my god. I'm <laughs> The story of the Dragonborn doesn't matter in the Dragonborn <laughs> DLC. <laughs> This, this bitch. <laughs> you got Skyrim Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm blown if away. If Skyrim right was like a human being, they would be abusing you, and I need you to leave Skyrim. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm just, I can't wait for the next Elder Scrolls, and I won't be, I won't be hosting for a while in the next. I felt Elder like she Scrolls was gonna say, I can't wait for the next Skyrim. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, that's gonna be a, that's gonna, that's gonna be a day when Elder Scrolls I, Six I comes know, out. Which is weird. Whatever because the fuck last that year is. I played my first Fallout game ever, which was Fallout New Vegas. Uh -huh. And then I played four. But, Play the fuck out of that. I love New Vegas. I yeah, really like New okay. Vegas is amazing. Yeah. New I Vegas put some good hours in New was Vegas. Great. And oh then my I found that I could mod New Vegas Actually, and put Skyrim stuff in it. And then I could put Death Claws in Skyrim. So Actually, that just opened a whole new door. I don't know what good hours is in a game anymore. <laughs> Do you need to yeah. stop judging me because I feel I'm just, like Jacob. I'm just, I, used to think I, I, I can't believe that. That's what a video the game was. Saving throw right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> the dice won't save your feelings. <laughs> oh, I used to think I knew what good hours in a game was. And now I'm like. Was I putting up petty numbers? You're welcome. Oh my Was my God. numbers even good? I can't you believe that. You just lack the dedication. Wow. So, what have I been playing? Um, I've I've actually split my time with several things. I'm, I have a problem where I continue to buy games and not play them. Um, I bought Battlefield 1. I haven't... I. I tried to play it yesterday, but then it had four hours to update, so I said, fuck you. Um, Calm down, Natalia. <laughs> <laughs> judge her. She judge me. Oh, yeah. Oh, I judge you her all the time. You give us the hour numbers. We ran out of material. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell, me, tell me the number. So, um, I but I did, I have been playing the fuck out of Okami. That game is so pretty. 
Oh, that game is so good. Oh my god. If you guys haven't played it, it's like Zelda, except for you're a fucking wolf god. She's amazing and everything. Oh, yeah. That, you know what? Yeah, Ooh, we should I read the, we should read the old comic verdict on IGN. <laughs> Jesus. Yes, we <laughs> are. For well, audio like, listeners, Ari just up. slapped me on the arm really fucking hard. No, pull it out. Fine. I have been That's playing Okami. Said. I've forgotten because I've Oh my god. I have a headache from so laughing. Like, <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> oh my god. I actually just got to um, the second time you fight the road. Ari, do you oh, have okay. Ron Zero Dawn? Huh? Do you have Ron Zero Dawn? I borrowed it from Jacob and then I tried to hold it hostage until he literally was like, you need to bring my fucking Yeah, because you wasn't playing you, it. But you weren't playing it. I did for a time. I fall off though. I admit that I fall, she fall off things. She fall off the wagon. I don't think you fall off things that often. Can someone? I feel like I'm more dedicated call... than some of you bitches. We're, we're extremely dedicated. I, we need to we need to call the cops and send Ari back to wherever the fuck she came from. Here's the wagon. verdict for a comic. All right, read, read away, read away, Lewis. Oh, uh, this is HD. Is that a, uh, yeah, yeah? Sure. Why not? Who cares? Fine. Yeah, no, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I found it. Okay. It was one scroll down. Oh, nice. Nice. So easy to find things when you read. Oh, internet. Why is this happening? Oh, my God. We love you. I know. I and know. I know you're, but while you're looking that up. I'm going to give so, you so much shit in the car on the way back. Yep. <laughs> oh, it's going to be great. I can't wait. I was going to play, like, dad music and just, like, look back one time and just. Just, 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 the, and just, just the silence the whole way home. No, um, so I've been playing the fuck out of Okami. Um, God, what else have I been playing? I just played something else. Wait, no, we need to look at the Skyrim oh. verdict. Oh, you're right. That's even better. <laughs> oh, the, smile yep, exactly. Um, but so yeah, and I, I'm, I'm, I just, uh, I, I own Monster Hunter. I haven't picked it up yet. But that was my, uh, that's been my problem is, is, is finding the time. And then I realized the time that I took, uh, I went down a YouTube black hole of Gordon Ramsay. I probably should have played video games instead. <laughs> 2300 out of 10. I love you, Tristan. Nice job. All right, you should have you find it? <laughs> oh my God. This is such yes, a mess. The verdict. It's. It's difficult to ever feel completely satisfied with a play session of Skyrim. I know that's right for some of us. <laughs> <laughs> There's always one more pressing Lewis editorial. One I love more it. unexplored tract of land. One more skill to increase. One more butterfly to catch. Is there? Yeah, you should. Yeah, is there? Ari, you, you, you would know. You're the doctor. Dr. Ari Stevens of Skyrim. It's a mesmerizing game that draws you into. They oh the typos. A the typos in that one too. No fucking way, really? No, shut the fuck up. No way. Oh my god, this is space crazy. Packed with content that we are three for three with surprises. typos. I'm so blown away. The right changes now. made since Oblivion are many and result in a more focused and sensible, sensible, no, 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 focus and sensible style of play where the effects of every decision are easily seen, easily. So you don't have to keep trying to find out what your decisions made. <laughs> Over and over again. Oh you my already God. know. Featuring the same kind of thrilling freedom of choice. The Elder Scrolls series is freedom of choice. I hate you guys too. Oh my God. Free. That is fantastic. It still was more descriptive than Celeste. So. <laughs> freedom of choice. The Elder Scrolls series oh is known God. for, along with beautiful visuals and a stirring soundtrack, playing Skyrim is a rare kind of intensely personal, deeply rewarding experience in one of the best role-playing games just produced. All I know is that this is a role-playing game and you can catch butterflies. Yep. That's but all that's, I know about but, that But game. that was good enough for you, Ari. 2,300 hours this of could enough. literally be butterfly-catching game of the year. Yep. That's all I would that's know. All you would know. Do you want to yep. know what the funny thing is? What's that? I only got Skyrim originally because there was a dragon on the cover. Oh my god, I hate you so fucking I much. literally didn't know anything about the You owe Celeste an backwards. apology. You owe you Celeste. You do owe Celeste an apology. But I know who, apology. What, who Celeste is, they can oh get Oh my, my god, apology. I'm so blown away by that. You didn't know what Skyrim was. I know oh it had a dragon god. and that was important to me. Jesus Jacob, Christ. Jacob, is it important Did you know what yes, it is. when you saw said dragon? I played backwards. And I played the fuck out of all of Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Isn't that crazy, you guys? 543. All the things she's saying about games. This is all Ari needs. A cool cover. <laughs> I need to watch videos and I need to see trailers. No, not Ari. She needs a cover. Just I'm also more dedicated to my craft than you, so you can see. Such shit, bro. This is has a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you don't know. <laughs> 
You don't know. We you don't know. Maybe. You don't know. Drag it onto the cover sure. of Celeste. She's, <laughs> she's it. That's Absolutely. it. Oh, my God. Absolutely. I'm dedicated to multiple good games. Not one game because I don't. We I should, get bored. Because, like. I should. Uh, it, that is not bored. a problem, me and you. What, what, <laughs> we, what we should do is um, take a box of Skyrim, mm-hmm. give it to you for your birthday, and when you open it, it's just Celeste. It'll be like the red. In Mass Effect Two, she over. has at least five or six Commander Shepherds. I have nine. Uh, I do well, not have five. There you go. Nine Commander Shepherds. Nine. I lost count. You lost count. Wait. She said nine. You lost count to five. Because she. I it's only, still a singular I only number. Told her five or anyway, if I got so, a genie and had three wishes. I would trade all her hours and memories of Skyrim into Celeste hours. <laughs> oh my for god. For one day and just watch her break down. Yeah. I'd flip it all back after. I'm, I'm so like blown away. You guys are gonna buy it for me and I'm not playing. Oh my god. No. no. Yeah, that worked well for the last the time, too. That's true. Oh, no, four so. criteria. Dragon. Dragon, Dragon cousin, very cool cover. important, which is why I'm upset that Scalebound got canceled, because I was, yeah. like, just about Dragon. It's all yeah. I fucking wanted. Yeah. Did you get Dragon's oh my God. Dogma? Yes. Okay. What? It's a, it's Scott doesn't have a dragon in it. Are you going to ask me every game that has a dragon if I've played it? No, this, that was just a cult classic. Okay. I was going to be surprised if you missed it. No, I absolutely have dragons. That's one of the best dragons of all time. And Dragon nice. Crown. If it has a dragon in it, probably have it. And keep going. <laughs> Don't even get me started. Anyway, so we will... Uh, it will be to... my Pacific Rim. Calling it now. Damn, it Jake. will be my Pacific well, Rim. Well said. Do you play Dragon Quest? Yes, it has the name Dragon in it. I need to know if it was the picture or just dragon at all. I also Who like, the uh, fuck knows at this point? We're not, we're not so we will uh, go ahead she and enter. Mad as hell at double dragon. Enter uh, <laughs> into our ten questions segment. <laughs> Ain't no dragons in this I game. I swear to it's God, the answer is Celeste. Or twenty. Leaving. It's twenty questions actually. Uh, uh, I, I don't know enough about Celeste. It was a probably. It will be it. one though in the future. It probably my will. Words it probably will. will. I would not. I would not be surprised. Mark is so right about humble bundle and steam sales. That's true. <laughs> so I got humble monthly now. Jesus, that's crazy. We thought we so. Uh, that, so yeah. if you're if you're new, um, essentially. Um, we, uh, and by we, I mean Josh usually and me once being now. Uh, we're, I have a game in my head and they've got 20 questions, yes or no questions to figure out what the fuck it is. I'm gonna waste so many questions. I know. <laughs> Can't wait. So, go. This is Pass Ari's criteria for a game buy. Um, Tristan, do you only? <laughs> so for you audio listeners, Tristan I just asked. I actually maimed him in if, a tournament in school. <laughs> if do you, does, does Ari only play Liu Kang in Mortal Kombat? Oh, and here we only go. Only when she can so, do the animality. She don't play that Mortal so, Kombat. So um, in this case, the answer is no. It does not pass her thingies. Okay, there's not a dragon. Yes, does the dragon is the kind have a dragon? Is that you're gonna use that as a question? To, I was gonna ask that. if it had a dragon. Oh yeah, that's why you gotta get no, it. No, Mark, my question just covered put, all that. I'll just put yeah. it over yeah, here because I don't know how to do that. Covered all that. Oh my so god, there's not just a dragon minute. on the cover. There's no, not my god. a dragon on the cover. It doesn't have the word dragon in it. Okay. Is that a question? Oh, 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 oh that's part of that. No, that's no, a multi tier. No, it's a multi tier no, question. It should be his question since he just said all no, of them. No, it's multi tiered because no. he's, he, he eliminated I, I those things because that's your criteria. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, she's good. Remember. He's good. Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, go ahead. What's... Is it an RPG? No. Oh, shit. Lewis, we're fucked. <laughs> I'm fine. I play multiple good games and I, I knew I couldn't one game about dragons I actually initially had an RPG but I was like nah I probably I'm killing haven't Josh even, I probably haven't even yeah. played this um, game did it come out after 2010 after 2010 no it did not did it come out after 2005 Init- originally no ooh originally awesome. don't read too much into that that's me thinking. Oh God, you and Josh, you're like you're, you're like I feel, his I feel, I, I feel like I'm in my, I'm, I feel like I'm just DMing right now. <laughs> the feel, the power. Mm, oh God. I gotta double check a detail. Um, okay. They yeah, come out before. I actually do. I wanna keep going years. So originally, after two thousand five. No, that answer doesn't know there's no about that. Oh. Like yeah. you said you just said not to look into it. Yeah. But well what I said originally, I didn't I should have just said no. So it did not come out Jacob? after two thousand five. Jacob. Whatever, I'm new to this. <laughs> Shut up. Is it a shooter? No. 
Is it a platformer? Yes. Oh, it's five, right? Yeah. Uh, um, I hate this fucking game. You don't even know what the game is yet. I know, and I, I'm pretty. I probably haven't even played it. Maybe. You don't. You don't know. You don't know either what I played. I, you just know I played twenty three hundred hours of Skyrim. Uh, yep, and that's all I needed to know. Um. Does it have a notable main character? Hmm. No. Mm, yeah, I was like that one just definitely took a hit for me. Not a shooter. It's well, a platform. Platform with a non-notable. Yeah. Which can go to an extent. Um. Was it um console exclusive? Hmm. Yes. Ah, okay. Now we gotta figure out which console. <laughs> <laughs> Is that question six or seven? I lost count already. You have one job. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Platformer, non-popular. Was there multiplayer? Second. No. Okay. That one makes a lot. I can't even think of a non-popular one with multiplayer. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because I didn't play. Um, mm. Fuck, I keep thinking of popular ones. Mm. You can ask that question. I hate this because you're gonna tell me and I'm gonna punch you. Uh, oh. I don't want to like throw that one out. There. Was hmm. the main character a reptile? Ooh, interesting question. No. So okay. it's not Gex. Enter the Gex. <laughs> <laughs> Eliminated. Get out of my mind. Eliminated. <laughs> Had to get out of my mind. Four, five, I, six, I, seven, I eight, remember eight. playing that, being like, so "What the fuck?" After this question, we will go oh, to. We can go to the so to the many, chat and see if they want to do the thing. So many failed mascots now. An interesting development. Cotton, we'll see how it goes. Your own main character. No. What? Uh, okay. What? Dude, what? What are you thinking about? So we'll see what the. I'm throwing shit out there, okay? You, you let me live. Do you know a platformer where you create your own character? Hmm? That came out it probably a while exists. back. This. It probably. Uh, who knows? Do you do you guys want to go to the the chat for That's a question? I absolutely need a chat care. question. She needs. Okay. Sure. What do you mean she needs it? I'm sorry. What's the answer, bitch? Hmm. <laughs> Not is the character. <laughs> Can I make the character besides the character creator? No, it's a platformer hmm. with a bad so, mascot. That is not Tiger. What like. Tiger says. Tiger. Oh, hold on. Did it originally release on disc format? Yes. It sure did, Tiger. Mm, nice I job. Thought it was a PS1. That's question a eleven. Yeah, I'm. This is all you. <laughs> I just no. No, Jake, that is not the game. game. Um, was there a currency in the game? Oh boy. He's all right. Questions. Let's throw that that I don't know. Places. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I I went too deep. No, you're fine. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna go with no. Okay. No, because you don't actually. Know because no. I'm yes. Sure. Yes. Sorry. There yes. was a currency. There was a currency. The okay. But you know, whatevs. Hmm. Uh, Sarah asks, unless you, unless you, if you want to use another no, one. Absolutely, no, absolutely, please, we need help. Okay. I'm drowning. Is the main character human? No. Awesome. That would be question 13. That's a damn good, yes, Sarah, yes. You and Tiger, yes. <laughs> main character is not human. Am I allowed to use my phone? So, so, Tiger asked if there was, if the, is there's no main character. I mean, there is a main character. It's just they asked was it notable? And the answer was no. Oh. Is there a main character? Yeah. Go ahead, uh, Lewis. Sounds like it. It came out during the mascot rush, which is a problem because there was eight. What does it mean? What does it mean? I mean, you could still. But it doesn't mean that the character was a mascot. Two hmm. D platform main character. Yep, 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 yep. You know it. Uh, it came out on disc format, which probably helps you. <laughs> Bless. Excuse me. Um, yeah. Probably helps you. You know, it's a platformer. And before mm -hmm. 2005. So yeah, PS before 2005. PS2. Before 2005. Yeah. So PS1, you know, you know that. Yep. Okay. Or Xbox. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Xbox. Possibly so. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. GameCube. So you know, you know those things. <coughs> Anyone else want to take a guess in the chat? You are more than welcome to. Please do. Drowning. <laughs> drowning. Drowning. Now I, I told. I know how that feels. You know who's also drowning? Josh Asensio. 
my, in the elemental plane of water. This might be my first. You should throw a dragon turtle it. at yeah? him since he's in the elemental plane of water. Sorry. You should throw a dragon turtle at him because he's in the elemental. Well, he's water. already been swallowed by a kraken, so well, there's not much I can do for him. Dragon turtle can tear through the kraken and then get Josh. But he's already dead. I mean, well, is what eh, I mean, you could be resurrected. So, <clears throat> like, I'm not going to eat the burger because the cow's already dead. I want the burger. That's true. No, oh, not a high enough level for these spells. <clears throat> so. <laughs> You definitely need like wish for these. You yeah, know? I, I guess You're wish not to get the materials. Yeah, all no, right. Um, um, but yeah, I mean, you could still um, eliminate stuff. Um, yeah. Were there other party the members? Good question. Like, no. can you change out the main character and nope. play another? Negative. <clears throat> We're just not going to get it. <laughs> Sarah, of course, as was there a dragon. <laughs> we, t- we eliminated that question. If what? <laughs> only my powers would have worked because you guys yeah. have never given yeah, me I guess we, a dragon. I, did, I guess we eliminate. We did kind of eliminate Spyro very early, didn't we? Yeah. I was like, oh, Spyro. Yeah, I played Spyro the fuck out of Spyro. Spyro was popular. Spyro was stupid popular. They're actually thinking of remastering Spyro too, which by whole weekend. Sure. You didn't like Spyro or you didn't play uh, Spyro? That's all right. I liked it. I had fun. Okay. You don't understand I, preferred, I preferred other games better. Okay. <laughs> Does it have 2,300 hours of replayability? Who said that? <laughs> Mark Mayfield. Well uh, done. Oh, uh, that's funny. Uh, Come on, guys. How many questions do I have left? We've got... Um, that was 14. Ari the Burn Through 6. One, two, three, I've burned through a lot, too. Six, seven, eight, yeah, nine, you, nine, I nine, said Ari the Burn Through 6. I thought you yeah. said I went through 6. I was nah. Like, nah. Okay. I mean, you... Uh, <laughs> There are, there are things about platform games that you could use to your that you have knowledge of that you could use to New maybe get some. Hit. Ooh, <clears throat> I have to double check. That doesn't make me feel better about this at all. Exit that. There's Although a lot that of platform is where you die down. in one hit. True. Well, there's not a lot of platforms where you swap party members. Mm. No. Very small amount. Yeah, I mean, seriously. party games did. Party hmm. game. Platformer. Party game platformer. They both start with P. Huh. So. Mm. Was this game popular in Japan? Yes. I'd say so. Lewis, if you make a I, say word. I, I saw it in your so goddamn one, two, three, face. Four, five, six, seven, I'm eight, trying. Because we know that you're the one who's going to win it because I probably haven't even played this. No, I'm out. You didn't throw me too well. <laughs> this is on so, you. So, you guys are on question 18. Okay. Let's go back. Uh, My streak is over. To Japan. chat. Let's see what we got. Yeah, chat, you're going to have to just. Oh, this is an up. interesting one. Mm-hmm. Is the main character furry? Be careful with that. What does no no? What does that mean? Be careful with furry. Sometimes they are furry. Sometimes, sometimes they, they don't. don't. Actually, yeah, that's what I want to know the situation of this. Actually, they... I'll I'll go with no. I'll go with no on that one. Not furry. I did not mm. want to do this much thinking today. Tristan right, says, "Was it um, th- was it made by Naughty Dog?" No. Yeah, it's definitely not Crash. So we got one more question. So he wasn't talking about Crash. I will. Yeah. I will. Uh, throw us. I a will. Bone. Pr- I will throw you a bone and pretty much give it away. Please do. Do you fight pigs as bosses? Yes. That must be Lewis because I don't remember doing Son that. Son of a bitch! You're mad now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I told you Lewis would get he it. Is popular. I said, I said no because he's not on the same wavelength as like Crash and stuff. It's in the name of the game first. Do you want me to fight you? <laughs> you well, first of all, you gonna admit that he's popular? I know who the fuck it is. But that wasn't the question you asked. You didn't ask Can if you it was just popular. Kill the suspense and say because I know I'm not gonna get it. Tumba. I definitely didn't yeah, play Tumba that. and Tumba too. Tumba, you wear Tumba a squirrel too. suit. I thought Tumba until he said it wasn't popular. People fucking love Tumba. That's true, but it's he not on the same wavelength as Crash and Spyro. So, for those that haven't played it, it was made. The publisher was Whoopi Camp. Yeah. When uh, also do the, on the West. review for it. I will. So, so in computer entertainment. And uh, it was a platformer. It came out in Japan, December twenty fifth, nineteen ninety seven. North America, June thirtieth, nineteen ninety eight. It was fucking phenomenal. You should go find it. Didn't it's a side scrolling platformer. 
in which players control Tumba, a wild boy, on the search for his grandfather's bangle that was stolen by some evil motherfucking pigs. I literally pushed Tumba out of my head. The second I was genuinely surprised because I thought you were gonna nail Tumba. No, Tumba was gone. Oh damn! Second you said on Bible, I was like, it ain't Tumba. Let me go. Tumba did. I'll bring you right. back. I gotta bring the chat back. There was Bugsy. I gotta bring the chat back. Fucking, Hi guys. I mean, Gex was straight enough. Tumba, Tumba, T O M B A. Wait, the character was a pig. No, well, the you know, he's not he's not human though. So. Tumba was fucking um. It's a great game. So let's find out the hygiene review reveal for it. Hell of people. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Oh my God, how is this all happening? How is this all happening? <laughs> no, just after, know that you did this. After the initial, the character was Bible. I literally pushed Tumba straight out of wow. my head. So what we learned That's today me, is we probably should not put all of our stock in hygiene reviews. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe especially not. with all the typos. That was surprising. That was crazy, dude. Let's see. Oh, uh, I'm gonna let Ari pick all my chairs from now on because I know she she gonna get something that's comfortable forever. Yep. Where the okay. fuck is this review? Oh well. If How about you give it. your own review? Um, it's fucking awesome, and you should fucking Tumba, play. It. <laughs> Tumba was one of the greatest games I'll ever played. In my life. I had a blast. It I don't starts know with how so. Let's see. Was so Tumba the one with voice acting? Uh, no, I don't think no. so. So the end of the article says, Overall, Tuba is an excellent addition to the PlayStation's library and one that the system was sorely in need of. Full of rewarding gameplay, it'll hold a special place in your collection long after other games have come and gone. So there you go. Did that have so, a typo? It did not, actually. We found one that didn't have a typo. <laughs> I got the game. read the last it. paragraph. <laughs> oh, I got the game. Yes, go right. for it. Why not? And then we'll close this some bitch out. They don't do a verdict at the end. That's uh, smart. <laughs> Well, while you're, while you're scrolling, uh, so first of all, thank you guys for joining us on this wild motherfucking ride. This was my favorite episode. I know I say that every time, but this was absolutely my favorite. And I also say that every time, too. Yep. So uh, new episodes every Monday on iTunes, Google Play, Podbean, and Stitcher. Uh, you, should, you should subscribe to us also on YouTube, downright fierce, YouTube.com slash Downright Fierce Gaming. You're already, most of you are on Facebook, so you should like us on Facebook.com slash Downright Fierce Gaming. Follow us on Twitter, DRF Podcast. Follow me on Twitter, EXP Reaper Jabub. What's your Twitter handle? Found it. At VV Vice. What, do you have a Twitter? No. No, don't, don't follow Lewis. <laughs> don't follow Lewis. Twitch.tv slash DRF Podcast when we stream sometimes. We have a Snapchat that I didn't even know we had, DRF oh. Podcast. Uh, merchandise, you should buy a t-shirt with my with my, with my my head on it, teespring.com slash Downright Fierce. Not the face, Posters. just the head. Yes, just the head. Um, you, it's better, it, it looks better than, than, than you know me in front of the mic, apparently. Um, you should, if you think this uh, this content is awesome, you should follow. You should uh, support us financially on patreon.com slash Downright Fierce, and you'll get thanked at the end of the episode and exclusive content content like mark mayfield does thank you mark. Um, so appreciate you mark 2300 um, hours and counting <laughs> yep and also uh we'd like to thank brian altano damon hatfield and mc lars for providing the music for this episode and we'd like to also thank our executive producers carolina jarvis brian kaminsky who is an awesome guy that gave me a lot of tips for pittsburgh and andrew kirkenall because he's a sexy bitch and face kicker thank you, thank you, thank that's you. it and I we are done I bailey i said hi to, uh, to you earlier but i don't know if you were here or not um so uh I have to go find out uh, a cleric to um, use True Resurrection on Josh so he can come back next week. Will it work? I don't know. I got to roll for it, and Lewis took my dice. So, you guys have a good night. Bye Peace y'all. and love. Bye.